Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Creativity and Design here at Covenant University in Ulta, in, in Nigeria, Africa. Uh, on planet Earth, I also have my own planet, called Planet Aboya. But the beauty of today's class is that we are going to be connecting with space as to what's happening in space, in Mars, on Mars, on the Moon, and on Earth. And the reason why we have to do that is because there's nothing we do on Mars, there's nothing we do on the Moon, there's nothing we do on our Earth that is not connected to this class as it regards to creativity and design. And we'll see that even though we're a class here in Nigeria, we're connected to the global space, both in the digital space, in the human space, in the animal space, and all the other spaces that exist. And I'm sure I've talked about space intelligence here. I will also be talking about that today. As it relates to the topic today, please write it down if you want to. The topic today is the principles of design as it relates to mind, image, and vision. The principles of design as it relates to mind design, image design, and vision. And the tools we're going to use, the tools we're going to use to teach the principles of design as it relates to mind, image, and vision is Facebook on the digital. The tools we're going to use to teach the principle of design as it relates to mind, image, and vision. Number one tool is Facebook, the digital platform. And you can put it in front of it, planet of mind. Facebook is the planet of mind. That's why it's saying, what's on your mind? The second tool we're going to use to teach the principle of design as it relates to image, our mind, and vision is Ileke in Yoruba, Beats. English. And also, what we're going to be using to teach the principles of design as it relates to mind, image, and vision is our existence, our being. Me, Oli Oli, Amoyade, we'll also be used to teach that. And what I've done is I've brought, apart from the component to allow us see how space is and what's going on in space as it relates to the principle of design mind, image, and vision, I have brought a handmade batter. Probably we might need to design batter for those that will be working on mass. Don't take that responsibility, somebody else's responsibility. So I brought this so that we'll talk about it. And you will see how mass looks like. Because if you don't see how mass looks like, can you design yeah, batter? You know exactly. So that is now you see why space intelligence is important. If you don't know how space is, how can you create something for space? Do we have to always wait for somebody else to do it? And then when we start to now start buying it? No. That is why this class, what we're teaching today, what we're teaching today, you will never find in the entire memory lane of creation. What we're teaching today is based on originality as an educational product. Because we're teaching the principle of design as it relates to mind. Please bring it down to your stuff and start writing. The class has started. So the principle, you can sign there too. So the principles of design as it relates to mind, image, and vision, we're using originality to create that class. If you go on YouTube, as we're talking right now, if you go on Google, as we're talking right now, you will not find any video relating to the principle of design mind, image, and vision. Write it down so that you can find it later. If you find a video, it will be video of me and the children in this community who have created that. The first video in the entire world It's true. That's to tell you what is happening. And that to remember, if you do a video on today's world, there's fact check. If what you're teaching is false, that is why some teachers who are still teaching biology, geography, are running away from internet and video. It's because some of the things they 
they are teaching is no more true. And they don't want to accept that it's no more true. So when they see some student with video, they will start to beat the child. Because they know they are lying to the child. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, could, if you teach something today and you do a video and you post it on the internet, the whole world will come and look at it, the whole intelligence will come and look at it and say and agree if they should allow that video, if it is true or false. That is why we are fact check. We are also going to look at that under the principles of design in this class. So you will see how that works. So my sister, please, I encourage you to write down for this class because what we're teaching today is original. So let me move into the class. So the first thing, when it comes to principle of design mind, image, and vision, you need four principles. In principle of design, as it relates to image, you have more than four principles. Some people say it's 12, some people say it's 6, some people say it's 50. It doesn't matter how many it is. But for this class, we're going to focus on just four. And the first one is space. Please write it down. The first principle of design is space and time. Number one, space and time. Number two will be what we call contrast. Number three is emphasis. And the last one is repetition. This four is what we're using to teach originality as it relates to the design of mind, the design of image and vision. And like I said, this is the first video as we're doing it right now that we eventually reside in digital space in that regard. So we've made a landmark issue. Now, the reason why we say space, you will agree with me that if we have to design anything, first of all, we have to know where all images reside. Where does all images reside? Eh? Can anybody get Where does all image reside? In your mind? Okay, another person. Space. Okay, another person. Yes. Now, one person says space, another person said in our mind. Both of you are correct in a way, but let me just tell you now, the truth of the matter is that all images reside in space. Without space, there is no image. Without space, there is no what? There is no image. And once you have an image, there will be time. Because for image to have ability for anything to recognize it coming, for image to have ability to be called image, time must have passed. Do you understand me? And we are going to do that practical in class today. Please sit down. So now, what you also have to understand is that space and time is the container of all images. Space and time is the container of all images. And that is why we're going to be talking about space today in this class, so that we can know what is contained in our space and time. You will not find this class on the internet as a whole. It's the first in the entire memory lane of creation as it relates to mind design, image design, and vision design. Now, the reason why I said vision, and uh, mind and image, my sister, welcome. We didn't see you last week. Yeah, I wasn't. I had no results. Okay, that's okay. But I will just go back quickly. The topic today is the principle of design as it relates to mind design, image design, and vision design. And the tools we are using to teach the principle of design in regards to that are. Number one, Facebook, the planet of mind. Write it like that. Facebook, the planet of mind. Because the question is, what's on your mind? Number two, sorry for repeating. I'm using repetition. One of the what? Principles. Principles of design. As I'm repeating, I'm emphasizing. Because I want them to have an understanding. Can you see? We're already using principle of design. 
Okay, now we um so that is uh I said what did I just say? Facebook. Yes, Facebook is one of the tools that we're using, and Facebook is a planet of mind. Because the question we've been answering for the past 20 years of Facebook is what's on our mind. So we have a lot of things in our mind. Come on. So the next thing is the next tool to do that is that we brought Ileke beats, Ileke Yoba beats in English. And I brought scissors, one of our tools of creation. And I brought Kampala. Because you have to remember, you can't be a student of creativity and design, and everything you are wearing, there's not one single thing that is your design. That is not good with the children. I will tell you the story later, you will see. <laughs> but today, guarantee, each and every one of you will walk out of this place with your own design, by God's grace. So that's going to change. Okay. Yes. So now, let's move on. So now, the, we are going to move forward. Okay. Good morning. Please come. So, I think I will have to, I will have to run it again because we just had some people coming in. So, you know, you took from our time. So, if we decide to take from your time too, in our two hours, please don't blame us. But, today's class will be informed. The topic today is principle of design as it relates to mind design, image design, and vision design. Please write it down, or you can record with your uh, digital device. If you have a digital device, you can record the class and do a video. And the tools we're using is Facebook, Ileke Beats, Kampala. I've brought a handmade shoe that is a finished product, and I'm also everything I'm wearing is completely my design. So there's nothing like everything from my head to the bottom of my feet to the shoe is completely my design. So there's nobody that can come from China or from America or from Europe or from another part of Africa that will say what I'm wearing doesn't belong to the class of creativity and design. That is why I said this video is the first in the entire memory lane of creation. Yes. So now we're going to move forward. So I already said the principles of design are four. The first one is what? Can somebody remind me? Space and time. Because we know that all images are in space. Space is the container of all images. Time and space are together because for you to determine space, there must be distance. So once there's distance, there's what? There's time. Do you understand me? You can find that in physics. As it applies to physics, it also applies to this class, creativity and design. Now, the reason why you also have to understand that all images reside in space is this. If you don't have that consciousness, your creativity and your design will not respect the rules of space intelligence. And there are rules in space intelligence. I will be going into all of that. Now, you understand that space is the first principle of design. The second one is what? Contrast. Contrast. Contrast as it relates. Listen to me. Contrast. Yes. The second one is contrast. The third one is what? Emphasis. Emphasis. And the last one is repetition. Space. space and time is the first one. Yes. Without space, there's no image. Do you have a, do you need me to repeat anything? Okay. So now, once you know, okay. So space and time is the first one. First, let's look at how you use space and time to be, uh, to design vision. You see, if you are connected to what is happening in space and time, what will it give you? It will give you a wisdom, a wisdom, and wisdom is called understanding. Understanding in English grammar is called what? Clarity. C-L-A-R-I-T-Y. Do you know that wisdom is a form of vision? Have you seen a blind man, a blind man that comes to this class before being blind? 
The day he becomes blind, even though he cannot see with his physical eye, he can still know where to sit and where not to sit in this class without anybody guiding him. What is he using? He's using understanding, a prior knowledge of the space here. That is why you see a blind person, before they became blind, they are living in the house. When they became blind, they will still know where the toilet is and where the bathroom is. They will know where the dining table is. So, wisdom is a form of vision. And that vision is very powerful because it carries consciousness. As a matter of fact, it carries more of your subconscious being. You see, a man that is blind is using a lot in terms of wisdom as a form of vision to interact with everything in time and space. So we, in this class, me doing the research from America to here, I now know without any reasonable doubt, and there shall be no intelligence to say that is false. That's a command. Now, vision, uh, wisdom is a form of vision, a powerful vi vision that carries consciousness. Write it down. I'm doing a video to share in space so that we'll see if there's any other mind that has said what I've said. Yes. Now, that vision is very, very important because the way to do it from a blind man's experience, we already know that a blind man, before having that wisdom, that imaginative vision of his space, before losing his physical eyes, he had memory of that space, right? So now, the same thing, you must connect with space. So today in class, what I've done is that I've brought this. This is NASA President's Mars rover. This, this is Mars, a, an entire different planet. And what you see, this robot that you see here, you can see the camera. That's the vision of this thing here. Now, this is not a human being. But you see that in this space now, what are we looking at? We're looking at something that is on Mars. Apart from that, you can see the name. It said perseverance. And I already told you in this class that perseverance is one of the tools of what? Of design. I told you that in this class. So how can they use one of the, the name of one of the tools of design and creativity to name a robot on Mars? Do you think NASA doesn't know what it's doing? They know what they are doing. Yes. And the reason why we name it perseverance is also because of that clarity, that wisdom, that vision. And to give this robot consciousness. Can you see that? Now, this robot is there doing a lot of tasks a human being cannot do under the worst condition. It's digging the ground, it's taking pictures, it's analyzing samples and it's sending them all the way from a different planet, first towards the moon, and from the moon then to our planet here. There's no empty air in this space vision. There's no ether. There's no glow, Yakata. <laughs> this is not, that's why I said this class, what you're learning today, you will never find anywhere, even in America, including China. That vision, the consciousness of this mass rover is embedded in its name. And that is why I emphasize, anything you do, you must name it. Do you remember me saying that in this class? Yes. Now, you can see the name alone has programmed the consciousness of those who are here, who are human, looking up to this robot there, that that planet you have, there's no religion, there's no government, there are no people that you can see. But in anything you are analyzing as a robot, you must do what? You must persevere. Is that not consciousness? And we're still seeing the images coming from there up to now. I will show you some of the image. Now, you here, you have a connectivity with mass now because we're talking about it. Using the same idea of name, language, right? Name is in the language. So as we're talking about it, we're talking about what is happening on that planet. That means, as you are looking at it, there is an input, like a computer input. Come and put that, computer. Will you not 
Is that not true? Don't you come and put it before the computer will process? Come and put that computer. <laughs> is it not making sense? That's the way to let you understand how consciousness works. If you don't make an input to the computer, the computer will not give you an output. So, one, the best way to input consciousness in something is to do what? Is to do what? Give it a name that will revive the function of that name. Am I making sense? Yes. So now, we are connected to mass. And the next thing I want to show you here is this. This is the mass over. And you can see the geography of mass. We are not seeing any trees on here. Or is there a tree here? Is there a tree here? No. There's no tree. So this is how it looks pretty much over there. So let's go to the next slide. The next slide we see, we have rocks. You can see the robot moving, climbing hills. It's like Sahara Desert. It's like a desert. You see thousands of kilometers. It's just you, the playing field, and the sun, or whatever they have over there. And this is exploring, not exploiting. Choice of language. Exploring, not doing what? Exploiting. Using language as giving birth to consciousness, both in a robot and in a human. So we already know that this mass rover has consciousness because of the name we gave it. And that consciousness is helping it, as the name describes, persevere. When you have contact with anything, to understand it, to analyze it, before you send the video and the images back to us at NASA, at Kennedy Space Center, which I've been to physically. Me that is standing in front of you, I've met somebody who has been on the moon, is left, Neil Armstrong, I've met him physically. So if I cannot teach you, Space, as it relates to creativity and design, I'm doing you what? Injustice. So, you will now see that this robot, though it's there, the consciousness that we gave it is in its name. If we had called this robot stupid, what do you think will have happened? We'll be getting stupid images, unanalyzed images, images that are not clear, who distorted, unrest. But the name of this mass robot, I can also tell you, and the entire artificial intelligence of Facebook can also tell you, that before we set this perseverance mass robot, I was also involved with the naming of it. As a matter of fact, the name I chose, that is, is several of us across this planet, gave it the same name, Perseverance. And I was glad Perseverance was the name they it. Now, I'm in Nigeria here, and I'm participating in something that is in another world. But your government will not tell you you have the Nigerian doing that. They don't like good news. That is the problem we have in Nigeria. There's a lot of you doing a lot of great things, but your government does not want to recognize you. It's one of the major problems we have in Africa. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, principle of design, the reason why we now talk about this is that the way you get consciousness, vision, space vision, understanding of what's happening in space. My sister, if you want to design it, if you don't know what the others are designing, your design by that you bring out, you just see somebody else has done it. So you have to understand what is happening in space, and that understanding is a form of vision. That is one of the principles of design. The second principle, please, what's the second principle? Contrast. Contrast means that. Listen, you see, even for this image, you see there's space. You, can you see there's contrast between the black bead and the gold bead, right? In terms of what? Color, as it relates to what? Image. Even here, space, one of the first principle of design applies to this in image, because this is an image. You can see there's space between the, this gold and the second gold. That's space. It's still the same space here. That is why space came forth in the principle of design. Now, in contrast, the contrast as it relates to this, you have to say, I want to, you will see what we're creating in the practical. 
I, for example, I might say, my sister is an engineering student. She, she is uh, uh, a mass communication student, and I want to design something. Let me take my, wait, wait, let me take my mass communication student, because mass communication people, they understand better than engineering students. I'm making a contrast between what? Yes. Using mind. You see how you are applying contrast to mind now. Even if you, okay, right. Oh, are you? Yes. You are? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. That's easy. Listen, listen, listen. That's that's easy. That's easy. Wait, listen, listen, listen. This is the good. Thank you for making an input. That's easy. My come and put up is doing what? It's working. <laughs> so, so listen. What we're now saying, what we're now saying is that contrast, you will need to make contrast even in your family. Even at your workspace, when you get to any working environment, the, the very first day you get into a working environment, you will start to see people who like you and people who doesn't like you. You will start to use creativity and design to make contrast like, oh, the first day I came to this space, listen up, the first day you came to that workspace, you saw somebody that was friendly and somebody that was not friendly. And as time goes on, what your, your mind will start to design who to make friend with first and who not to make. That's what we now say design mind. Design mind. If you know about design mind, you can control and tame any mind in the world. And that is why I said this class, you cannot find what we are teaching in this class on the entire internet. This is the first of its kind. Yes. And I, I'm glad we're using Mass Rover. And the name, I already said it in this class, perseverance is the first tool of creativity and design. And you can see that what we have on Mass right now, our perseverance Mass Rover, is performing that function consciously with the images that we have access to in this class. Now, you now remember this now. Why will NASA, people who, have, people who don't think about money, they don't wake up like we wake up and think about money, they have access to money. Why will NASA now open a Facebook page and be sharing what they are doing on Mars? Why will they come to Facebook platform? Can somebody answer that question? Eh? Eh? It's a space. Yes. Apart from that, the reason why they came to Facebook is because of what? It's because of space intelligence. Because the fact that they are in America, the fact that they are doing it in America, doesn't mean that the knowledge to survive in mass resides there in America. So they have to open up what they are doing, even in engineering, in artificial intelligence, and in intelligence, it's called open mind. Let me just tell you, on Facebook, the Queen of England, before she died, she was on Facebook. Vatican, the most powerful organization in the religious sphere, is on Facebook. The president of China, Xi Jinping, uh, or whatever they call him, is also on Facebook. He's on, he even gave it, he has the consciousness. That's the first president I saw. China is very powerful in creativity. China now is on their own side moment. Immediately I saw the name, side moment, I said China is still leading in this thing. The only thing that can beat the mind of China is this class. Right now, in space intelligence. There shall be no intelligence to say that is false. The only thing that can beat China is in this class. When I saw the president, the current president of China, put that thing and said, side moment, using that language, that language, moment, as many contrast between all of the leaders in the world. That means they recognize that moment carries what? Memory. A memory helps to do or develop consciousness. And what did I tell you here? I said all our Facebook pages can be turned into an individual application that we can use to do what? Cure dementia, which is memory loss. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Now, so the third one, other contrast, is what? Emphasis. Emphasis. 
You see that I'm emphasizing. Emphasizing is ability to set your goals, not the vision and the mission. You emphasize it. That is why you see all the networks. Even though they've not done something, they will start broadcasting it. We want to do this work. They are emphasizing, repeating, also using repetition as the same time. They are emphasizing it. Why are you saying it before doing it? Why is the one of them? Let me just take this now so that you see what's happening here. This is fast rover. Something they are supposed to keep secret. They are opening it for the world. Look at this robot there. Why are they letting us here in China, in everywhere, having access to what they are doing? It's because they don't know who have the different vision that will give them clarity or wisdom as to what they are doing. They do it this way. What you are doing there, we already did it before. What you are doing there, there's another way. And knowledge is not what? Knowledge is not what? Knowledge is not stagnant. It's always what? Moving. To track knowledge, you have to open up what you are doing to space. Because, and let me tell you, there's no knowledge you don't tap from space. Knowledge is always moving. That is what actually moves our existence. Knowledge is never stagnant. It's always moving. And that is why you see, even Coca-Cola, as powerful as they have, over a hundred of years with their product, they are still on Facebook. So the question you will ask yourself, why am I, who is just an entrepreneur, making beats not on Facebook? The Queen of England is on Facebook. She's dead. She's dead, but her memories are here. And she transited, as a matter of fact, consciously, I can tell you this, the Queen of England is the first person that consciously transited into glorious memories because of her social media presence. Hate it or love her, what a memory has done on Facebook because I looked at everything is enough to guarantee her heaven by you. By Wait, you know, you know we have heaven on X. It's one of the things here that they did before. So for them, they've done that for her. And listen, there's nobody that doesn't have faults. And most of the things that we now associate to the mistake of the monarch, of the British monarch, or any other monarch in the world, it is not left for the monarch to do the correction. It is meant for this creativity and design class to do the what? To provide the solution to do that correction. That's why they're in this class. Yes. So now, you emphasize, using emphasis, you emphasize, for example, today, look at the emphasis today as it applies to creating image. The emphasis is this. A boy came to me before this uh, Christmas. I said, Mr. Creativity, I saw you teaching children in adult creativity and design. And everything you are wearing, sir, is made in China. How can you not tell me? You are talking like my biology teacher. Who will just talk, 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 talk? You cannot show me. My engineering teacher, my physics teacher. They can't even try, they can't even produce common uh, fur pump. I said, no, I'm not talking like that, though. I couldn't beat the boy. Because he's a global truth that applies to everything I was wearing was actually China. He was checking the label. See your t-shirt made in China. See your uh, uh, butter made in USA. But the made in USA also had made in China. <laughs> so everything you're wearing does not even belong to anything that's connected to you. That is a shame to me. Immediately, I went and bought Kapala. <laughs> And I think originality, everything you see here are beats. I just added the beats like take the picture, use the principles of design. We're going to do it in class today. Take the picture, repeat the picture, get me this pattern. And I printed it on Kampala and I wore it. Created the beats to go along and did it. The same material for this, I used to do pattern. So when I'm not going, and the boy sees me said, no, ah, no, no, you are, you are misinterpreting. I give it to you. I cannot talk. I, you finish my mouth. I don't know why I will be spoke for you. Where you where you are. Where the white went to the boy said, I met Mr. Creativity. Now it has changed 
the mentality. Let me just address this again. China had to win the battle in creativity and design because before China was used to copying America. But later, they now saw that if we focus on just copying America, we cannot win the battle. We have to start creating originality. And that is why China is everywhere today. Okay? China is everywhere today because they move from creating, copying, and making pay to creating originality. By the way, I hope you know that China is also en masse. Yes, China is en masse and beyond. They are focusing on space as much as America is focusing on space. And the president of America, the former president of America, Donald Trump, emphasized it, using emphasis. To say the battle is no more on ground, the battle is in space, as it relates to military intelligence, which is also part of your responsibility in this class. And we are going to touch about it here. So now, you see that you have to emphasize. Sometimes, using emphasis could be reminding yourself that I can get the job done. Do self talk. This goal that I've set for myself this year, I can get it done. People will talk you down. People will bring you down. But once you use emphasis to emphasize your mission, your vision, you will be able to get the job done. Also, I want you to realize this. The last one is repetition. And you can see what we've done with repetition here as it relates to image. Remember, we repeated the purple. So, if we're designing a product, an image like this, and I take purple as one, my repetition is another color, that repetition of another color. Repetition, please write this down. Repetition allows us to create beauty. Repetition allows us to create beauty. Please, I want to focus on our brother again. Thank you for wearing this today. I don't know if you've worn it before, but I don't know if the spirit that is what you want. You make me the happiest person because I saw somebody looking like me. You see this thing you're wearing? Raise it up, let me raise your hand up, let me see. Can you see the cow he is wearing? He came from the sea. The people that created this use this repetition. There's no other thing in between. But that repetition gave beauty to that design. He's able to see it, even if he has done it by himself, and say it's of value. He's so proud, he wore it and brought it. So that's repetition. At least, mind you, you can see repetition. You can see repetition in the beat. I use repetition in the image. Nobody can now come to me. If I go anywhere now and I'm talking to students, primary, secondary, university, and I say I'm a creativity and design teacher, will they look at me as if I don't know what I'm saying? It's impossible. You can't do it because you're seeing it. That is what our biology teachers, our engineering teachers, before were doing. We are not creative, we are just talking. Sorry, we just knew that. So, see, when I was in our own, my own time was even worse. That was when there was no electricity, everything was really bad in Nigeria. Sometimes, you at night, though, what we learned in class, we will still be reading at the middle of the night with lantern. Just for one small subject, though, you know, to be right there, we will be part of this campana. <laughs> Can you imagine that? My geography teacher that was telling us we had nine planets, he failed me for one point. I repeated a class. Now, I'm using that repetition. Look at this one as educational service now. When you fail a class, they will use repetition for you to do what? Renew your mind that your mind is not yet prepared to advance. That's the simple education is using the principle of design to do what? To enforce knowledge. And knowledge is wisdom. Wisdom is vision. Yes. For artificial intelligence, those of you that are working with artificial intelligence, we have two types of vision. We have vision, the human vision, and we have wisdom. And both of them are called clarity, C-L-A-R-I-T-Y, and C-L-E-A-R-I-T-Y. To be clear, it is clear, I can see it. So, the last one is that contrast, I mean repetition. So, what we are going to do now is we are now going to move back to Facebook and I will see you how what we are talking about is also applying in space. So, in space, the mass 
discovered, even though the human is not here, we've already given it a name that is making it to persevere to help us create a mass, right? Before we humans get here. But also, apart from the name, there's something else that is happening. And what is happening is that what can we do here on earth to prepare for this moment that this perseverance is preparing for us? You and every one of us here, we have a responsibility now to start thinking about what this consciousness, what this perseverance is doing on Mars. It's your responsibility. It's not up to American government, it's not up to Chinese government or European government or Obama or Nigerian government to tell you that you need to start looking at the future that your children will embrace. And this class, we are going to do that today because nobody else has the command to do so. So what I have done and what I will encourage you to do is connect with space in anything you are doing because space will help you to design vision. It's called global vision. And I have to lead by example. So I created Space TV on Facebook and it says switching to Space TV. Now, when I go to Space TV, you will see what I'm saying. This is Space TV. And I already told you, anything you create on social media, you are already associating your health to it. Look at what they say. How healthy is your page? That means they know that whatever you are doing is associated to your mind. Because anything coming out of your mind is going to your page. So how healthy your mind is, we can find on what? On your page. So for this one, they already scored my Space TV. I own it. It is good. This is more than a year old now. It's more than two years old now. So what I want to share with you is this. You can see on Space TV, I share this. Crew getting ready for space work and conduct biology physics research. Listen now. They are conducting biology and physics research. In what? In space. This is what they are doing in space right now. And you can see what they have. What this person is doing. Now, they are here in the space, in the container of space, doing what? Biology and physics research. If they discover a product or a service, they will bring it down and monetize it. Right? So you two that you are here, you can connect and know what they are doing here because you don't know what is in your mind that can give a solution to what they two are doing here. It's called network development. The network of what? Mind. That is why the British made the expression and said, birds of the same feather flock together. That bed of the same feather flock together shows that if you are a creative person, you should know what is happening in the global space so that in your own little space, you will know how you can create originality that will help our community. So I will go to another slide to show you what is happening in space. Now, look at this. This is US Army Space and Missile Defense Command. This is the military that actually does physical battle for space. They are my space TV. And you can see space TV. This is the White House. These are the kind of mind you will find on my space TV. Now, look at what they have here. They say the enemy is always listening. And they have a book. The enemy is listening. He wants to know what you know. Keep it to yourself. That's a book they have there. That is on their page. This page here. Now, did you know that there was something like this before? But what, what is this telling you now? This is telling you that what? They too, they are writing. Creative writing. Not until you read the book, you will not know what message they are trying to relay. Do you agree with that? Is the book not a product? Just like this book, or this one we are writing. Now, this particular one that you see here was written by your undergraduate student, and I will read one of it, uh, a few. The book, according, the book, according to undergraduate student of the University of uh, Covenant University in the class of creativity and design. And this is what this person says. He said, when you are having a conversation with someone you are creating, this is from the mind of somebody here. And this 
mind is the mind of Nella and Uforo. Now, there's another mind that talked about something very powerful, and I would like to read. The mind is um, Jones about, and he said, another point noted is that no idea is false under creative intelligence, but only either accepted or rejected. This is the mind of your students in this school. So in our journey of in our journey as creatives, we should utilize our central processing processor, which is the brain. I just shared two things your students are putting here that I think can compete in space. They are saying if you hear something, don't say that thing is wrong. That impossibility might just apply to you. But the possibility of that thing you are saying is false might be true somewhere else. That is why you have to persevere. So we we'll move on, and then you'll see. This is me. And you can see my space TV. And this is what I'm wearing. I put it there. My contact is there. And everybody in space that goes to that space TV, when they see me, you say so in Nigeria, home space TV. And everything that is happening in space is connected to that. I designed that having the consciousness. The design started from what that guy said. Once we are having a conversation, creativity has started. I designed that. It's a network. Because it is what I'm connected with offline. I'm also connected with online. It will affect and help my mind as I create. So now where I'm going to go is I'm going to go into designing network of mind. And this is a practical one from my own user's experience. In designing the network of mind, I want to use WhatsApp. I've shown you my Facebook. Can you see WhatsApp? Now, on my WhatsApp, this is my actual WhatsApp. But you see, in today's world, we know about fact check. So if you now come here, you see the first one is India today. India has fact check. And you see that's the first thing on my WhatsApp. India, this fact check is on Facebook. Their phone number is there. But you have to create that network. You have to create the mind. See, when you have a group, when you have a WhatsApp, whatever that is there is a result of what is happening in your mind. You will need to use contrast and the principle of design to say, these are the people I want to be communicating with and these are the people I don't want to communicate with. Using contrast, space intelligence, and what? And repetition. So in this case, you can see I have United Nations, I have Facebook itself, I have Bermuda right there, close to the, my place in Miami, Florida, or the Atlantic. And I have myself, and then I have some other people. But the reason why you see these people is that when I do a video of anything, I have to send it to them because the whole of Indian intelligence will check my video. And if they check the video and they see that what I'm teaching, they are not teaching them, they will start to learn from me. What am I doing? I'm already connected to the global intelligence space. Act of the willingness to design a network by myself. Let's go to the next page. This is the fact check that is created by India. So anything I post, I posted a video this morning now at 4 a.m. You see the reply here at 4 a.m. Thanks for reaching out. See, if they don't like what I'm sending to them, they will block me. Do you know that? People do. If you don't like what somebody is saying, will you not block the person? So imagine the fact check of the whole of Indian intelligence is accepting what we're doing in this class. That's if we're doing something like that. Do you agree with me on that? It's common sense. Yes. Now, the same thing with United Nations. See, this is the UN. The climate change. Anything we do in this class, when I do the video, I send it there. It's an automated system, like an artificial intelligence. And you have to remember that this now, anything you put into that automate, automation will be what the intelligence of the United Nations will go and look at. And when they look at it, if it's useful to them, they will repay you and allow you to be sending them more. If it's not useful, they will block them. Good news for this class. Every time we've been in this class, all the videos we've done, I have fed it to all of the intelligence that you see. And there has not been a response as to rejection or blocking us. 
That means we are contributing to the global intelligence. I also did it with Facebook. And this is Facebook. Everything we do, I send to Facebook itself. This Facebook is not Nigerian Facebook. It's the one up there in space. So now, if you create all of this, if you create all of this, your mind shows, it shows that your mind is conscious of intelligence design. What I've shown you now is called intelligence design. That's how to design intelligence, and that's how to design network. Actual network. This network, this phone that you see, all of this is there. As this video now, it's already in space. People in the International Space Center, they're already watching what we're doing here. Without even the knowledge of the university. That's true. <laughs> because of my space TV. European Union is there. All of them are there. I created that with my bare hands and with my mind. That is why I said, no, sir, in this class, you cannot fail. Even when you choose to fail, you will still pass. <laughs> so now, what I'm about to do is that, uh, what's the time, please? 11? 7 after 11. So we are right on point. So we are going to move into the practical. And the practical today involves this. How many of us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We are 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, more than So she said, when she came to class, she said, uh, can she take one and you know, start designing? Work on? So what we are going to do is that today, each and everybody here will design something and leave the class with whatever they desire because it's your mind. So, I already have beats here. What we're going to do, you see, using the principle of design, repetition, you can see how repetition works. So, all you have to do is choose one. When you are training with the thread, but we want to see how your mind works, I'm going to video it because we want to use it in our offline um, content for this class. So, what we're going to do is, when you are going to, you, you can start with black or uh, white. I you have to remember now, all of these colors is to your own taste. He has his own coming. Okay. So now, what you do is choose your best color, thread it, and I'm going to time you. I'm going to give, once everyone will start at the same time, I'm going to, we're going, the children, I'm using the children as a standard. The children spend 16 minutes in their own. So I will give you guys 10 minutes as adults. So what we're going to do is that you will take the thread, you will thread it, and when you thread it, thread it using those principles. You have to do spacing. Sometimes you might want to repeat about just one color. In between, you might decide to repeat about three different colors. That is space, right? Yes. Repetition is repeating the color to achieve beauty. So what I'm going to do is that please come and select one, and as you select it, you will cut it, you will pick your own thread, sit down, don't start because everybody has to start at the same time. Please, let's start that. Come and select the one you want. Just come, select the one you want, and we'll start. Just select, sit down, and then pick, pick one of the threads. Pick one of the threads. Select the one you like. Just one. See, you have to, that's the mind. That is the mind. That is the mind design. You have to be conscious. That's the mind design. Yes, go and see that we'll pass the scissors. Go and see that we'll pass the scissors. You have to be organized and composed. It's the mind. Concentration. Focus. The mind. Yes. Yes, go and sit down. Just one thread, but not two this way. Yes, just one. Just one thread. Well, who doesn't have a thread? Who does not have a thread? Is that the one you keep? Now, when you, 
when you split it into to make sure that it doesn't scatter all around, so be composed. This is part of seeing your head. That is divine. <laughs> Can you see what is happening now? Your mind, if you are focused, you should understand that. See, if you are focused, you should understand that this thing, how they are doing it. Eh? Don't start to, just start it into two, don't start to. Cut it. Uh -huh. Divine. That's the man you see scattering all over now. Wait for the scissors to come to you. Listen to the instruction I gave in the class. I said, just sit down. Don't start striking it. Sit down. Don't start striking it. Just cut it into two. Pass the scissors. Cut it into two. And make sure the beads don't fall. Because if the beads fall, that means your mind is falling. <laughs> That's true. The children have done this experiment though, and we have video. So we are going to do video of your own too, please. It will be an interesting one. I'm looking forward to seeing what the results will be. Yes, you see? You are not, see, she's already using my design. Please, can you put? See what she did? Space. That is space. What did she do? She created space. <laughs> For it. <laughs> you use your mind. She, she has created space for it. Space where the team will not will start scattering up. She has created space. See? Somebody else cannot cut it for you. No, no, no. Somebody else cannot cut it for you. Eh? You need to learn how to cut it. <laughs> See, you need to cut it. Uh -huh. You have to be in control. That's the mind, though. But for you, my sister, you see that your bag is enough space to contain. I already told you, space is the container of everything. No, I see that your bag. If you don't have a nothing, you put it on. If you are in your bag very well, you can put it somewhere there and it will not fall. So I'm just giving you an example. They are not mine. Eh? They are not mine. Eh? That is mine! <laughs> She's already arranging them using classification and contrast. Yes. Using classification and contrast. So, please, does everybody have the two? Is everybody ready? Are you ready? You have not got your own. What are you waiting for? Okay, you're waiting for her. Let's, please, let's make sure he's ready. You've not got your own. Who has not got their own? Who has not got their own? Mind. Yes, thank you. You see, my brother is using his mind. No, not yet. Too. Now, there are some instructions. Make sure that the end of your this thing is not scattered, that it can go into the tray. So make sure you trim it. So please, trim it. So please, my sister, trim your head and start to shed it. That's why I said you should start, so that we start at the same time. Give it. Please, pass the scissors around. Yes, make sure it can go in. This is it. Your mind is supposed to... No, no, see, you should be able to cut it here because you can use this at your base and time later. So cut it here and make sure it can go in easily. Oh yeah, pass the scissors. Please, pass the scissors quick. I'm going to flip the camera over.